So welcome back to E1 Combat Boxing. So this is going to be episode 2 featuring Edgar and myself. To start this video off, there's going to be a short workout at the beginning. We started off with a workout this time. Usually at the beginning of our workout sessions, we go for a run. We run somewhere between 2 to 3 miles. So this workout is after our 3 mile run. I heard this beat and it made me think of everything that I've been through. But mainly where I'm at right now. Hit the stage and take a bow. Here's the crowd, curtain close, lights out, full of dreams, relentless, found purpose. Still searching, out of state, I'm working late. I still create the music you can either love or hate. That I should take what's my fate based on the foundation I'm building. I won't break, but why do I feel this way? So don't hesitate with your words, cause it gives me the strength and courage to keep going. I learned that the hard way, so I blocked the pain, but it left the stain. Maybe we could drink. I still get up, I can't complain. Took the blindfold off, all the answers were in front of me all along. It's been real. I need the answer to all the pain before all the shame comes back again. As I told you guys in the previous video, what well, something that was really kind of off with it was his movement. That's exactly what we're gonna do here with these cones. This is a very simple drill. A lot of aspects of footwork are involved, so your basic steps are involved, your lateral steps, and your pivots. I feel footwork is probably one of the most important things. Footwork is probably one of the most overlooked aspects in the sport. Not only that, I think that it's always important to teach boxing from the ground up. You have to learn how to walk before you learn how to run. Keep your stance. Yeah, keep your stance up, bro. You're too wide. You gotta make yourself narrow because there's too much space to If I move this way, that's already half of the space. Alright? Well. Step back first and then jab, all right? All right. Forward again. Step back. Left side. Left side again. Left side again. So the next thing I did was get some pool noodles and kind of close them and open them. So for the first three exercises, you're gonna try to you're gonna try to shoot the jab down the middle, right? All right. So every time it opens, like a guard, go. There you go. You get it? Yeah. All I want to do here is kind of build up those muscle fibers, be a little bit faster, be a little bit more quicker, and find the rhythm and the timing on, the, on his opposition while also trying to improve that jab. So for the most part, this is what we we're trying to do here with this drill. Of course, this guy is still kind of green, so he's he's not that fast the point of all of these drills are just to keep improving for the last three rounds we're gonna do something different for the last three rounds we're, we're gonna find this watch out give me the distance roll one two one two one two roll no roll just try to get it try to like get on the inside all right so it's one two Roll in here, step in here, roll, and roll again. Get me? Then you have to step in here. One, go, one, two, roll, step in here, and roll again. Step in here again. Step to the side. Perfect. There you go. One, step in with the one, and the two, roll, just roll, roll, and step on the one side. Okay, okay. Let's go. So jab, jab, right. Step, step, step in, roll, step in again, and roll. And take it out. Right? You don't gotta be this close, but like close enough for you to step out to the outside, right? Alright, so don't step in with the jab. Just try to step in after after throw the hook, right? Ready? Go right. step in here. One, two. One, two. Step in, step in, roll, and step in again and roll. Simultaneously. Step out. There you go. You got it? Okay, so. Alright, again. One, two, one, two, step in, roll, and step in again, and roll, give it out, again, all right, take it slow, bro, so one, two, one, two, step in, and roll, step in, and roll, go to the outside, there you go, let me go, one, two, roll, and roll, step oh, inside, right away, fool. it's all good, bro, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning, all right? The point is to learn. Learn, be exact, get the whole movement down, and then flow. I know it's hard, but it's different. It's a different movement. But let's go. One, two, step in here, right away. Step in here right away and pivot. There you go. 
one, two, so in and pivot. There you go, exactly. Same thing, but same thing like if you were doing this one, except you're pivoting out the opposite way. You know how like for this one you inside pivot? So yeah. same thing, look. I want you to roll, inside pivot, right away after you roll, okay? So you roll, inside pivot. It's the same thing as this one, just that way. Just that way, exactly. Oh. Use every angle that you can possible. That way you won't be so easy to find the rhythm on you, okay? So if you, people, if you follow a similar pattern all the time, your opponent's gonna read you. And if you follow something like this, you have a new angle for, to attack him from. I want him to see in which angle he could attack from the outside of my right hand. So this drill is very important because it kind of gives him a different perspective of a new angle in which he could implement his offensive tactics. Look at the angle that you have now on me. You can strike any punch you want. Like throw it right cross right there. Boom. You're going to throw it at me. The pin. The pin. There you go. Boom. Boom. The pin here. The pin here. Roll. There you go. Boom. Boom. The pin here. The pin here and roll. There you go. Roll. Everything you do doesn't always have to be offensive. Some things that you've learned and even the offensive things that you start with could become something very defensive. At the end, I just started to add the double jab. At the end of the combination, I want you to use the jab. So to kind of push me off, right? One, two, step in here, step in here, use your pivot, use your jab. No, your jab, bro. Your jab. Uh, and push yourself oh. off. Okay? If you're in defensive mode, you're gonna create some distance between you and your opposition. Throw that jab, bro. That's what your jab is for, for distance. So, so if you're on the outside of my right hand, use that jab to create the distance. That way you find your distance, and you have, besides making your opponent have to turn and face you again, they also have to take a few steps forward to be able to land on you. You get me, right? Okay, good thing, bro. Let's go. That's wrong, either way. Come on, step, step, distance. There you go, exactly. So make sure you throw it out there, right? That's it, bro. Okay, so in the following weeks, there's gonna be a few adjustments that I'm gonna have to make. First of all, with the basic punches, with the jab, I want the jab to be faster. Second of all, movement. I think this guy is still a little bit too stiff. Sometimes this dude is still off balance and he needs work with his defensive movements. For, his, for example, slipping. It seems like he's not really using his waist. It seems like he's using his lower back a little bit more. So it makes the movement kind of awkward. And third, we're just going to have to keep on building on what we learned. For the next few episodes, we're going to be working on the foundation that we have already had up to this point. So that'll be all. This is me signing off.